Thank you for listening to our daily Bible reading lesson. The lesson today is, why won't they listen? In our reading yesterday in Jeremiah, we find in chapter 42 that the children of God went to Jeremiah, and they were pleading with him. They said, pray to God for us. And they said, we will obey whether it be bad or whether it be good. In other words, we just want God's answer. We want to do what he says. We want to know what he says. Well, Jeremiah did that very thing. And he uh, came back with a message which basically summed up was, don't go to Egypt. If you do, you're going to die. Well, in chapter 43, it came to pass that when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking unto all the people, all the words of the Lord their God, for which the Lord their God had sent him to them, even all these words, then spake Azariah, the son of Hoshai, and Johanan, the son of Carrier, and all the proud men, saying unto Jeremiah, Thou speakest falsely. The Lord our God hath not sent thee to say, Go not into Egypt to sojourn there. But Barak the son of Neriah setteth thee on against us, for thou uh, for to deliver us into the hand of the Chaldeans, that they might put us to death and carry us away captives. So Johanan the son of Korea and all the captains of the forces and all the people obeyed not the voice of the Lord. Well, that didn't end well. Nebuchadnezzar ultimately went into Egypt and slew them, just as Jeremiah warned. But you look at that and you think, why did they, and really, why do people of all ages, why do they not listen? So many people say, I just want to know what the Lord says. And then they get the answer and they say, well, no, that can't be right. Well, in chapter 42, in verse 20, we find that Jeremiah gives the reason. He says, ye dissembled in your hearts when you sent me unto the Lord your God, saying, pray for us unto the Lord our God. And according to all that the Lord our God shall say, declare unto us, and we will do it. He says, you dissembled in your hearts. In other words, you were hypocrites in your heart. You see, it's a heart problem. It's not a communication problem. It's not a truth problem. God has given us the truth. He's given us the ability to search and see whether these things are so. But so many times, people, though they claim to know God or wanting to know God's will, they really don't. They want the desires of their heart fulfilled. Well, that, of course, is still true today. You find in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter in verse 10, that uh, God told uh, the those in Thessalonica through the Apostle Paul, that there were those who believed a lie because they received not a love of the truth. Too many people say they want truth when all they want is to find some way to have God agree with them instead of agreeing with him. They dissemble in their heart. I pray that we're not that way. We love his law. We love God. And we seek out his will in it. I want to thank you for listening, and I hope you have a great day. And we will if we keep the love of God and his word in our heart. Love him, keep his commandments. Thank you again for joining us in this Bible study. We remind you, if you'd like to follow along in our daily Bible reading, the link below in the description of this video will give you the PDF so you can read right along with us. If you have any other questions or if you'd like information on a Bible study, Contact us with the information provided on the screen before you.